everyone welcome back to another video so been looking in my soup making book it's minestrone soup and ingredients you need olive oil bacon lardons but i'm just going to use the rest of this up just um chop it up into little bits one medium onion, onion, two cloves of garlic, two medium carrots, some green beans, but I'm just going to use um, maybe some peas or something because I haven't got any green beans. I've just been to Tesco's, I could have got some. <laughs> uh, tomato puree, tin tomatoes, small pasta shells, shells and kidney beans, but I just literally went and got a snail. So then we need 750 millilitres of vegetable stock. So with the bacon, I'm just going to cook this in the air fryer because it does cook it very nicely indeed in here. So I'm just gonna, yeah, still feeling pretty, pretty fluey or whatever this thing is. I don't even know what this illness is now, what I've got. I've gone from thinking it's COVID to flu to God knows what. So just going to put that in for about eight minutes and then we're going to get on with the going to chop up my carrots chop up my onion uh great um crush my garlic get all the uh, ingredients ready and then we'll just move on to the next step so we'll just do that yeah, so I just have a look. Usually I have like so many um, tins of tomatoes and tinned kid uh, red kidney beans. It's two carrots, one onion and three cloves of garlic. So what's next on the list? So I'm just going to put the onions in with the bacon in the air fryer. I'm just going to get the garlic out there. I love that. It all just squirts out. Crush it. Best garlic crusher ever. These things are absolutely amazing. Now, so I'm just going to add all the other ingredients into my. Um, little bowl of my pressure cooker. So I've got the carrots. Just gonna put those in there. And we have a hundred grams of small pasta. This is actually macaroni cheese, so hopefully that's gonna be okay. Then we have a tin of well, a tin of tomatoes, just cheap ones from Asta. got the kidney beans which I'm gonna rinse off in the in the sieve so I've just rinsed those off in the sieve chop those in there as well then we have three tablespoons of some tomato puree This is just stuff really that I've got laying about in the cupboard that need to use up. So, so I watched a film today on Netflix and it was really weird and I really did not understand it at all. And it was called Leaving the World Behind and it had Julia Roberts in it and it was like I said, it was the strangest film I've ever seen. I watched it till the end, so I thought, oh, there must be like, like a thing at the end, like a, what's it called? Like a, like a, must be one of those like films that like, at the end there's like a little, oh, I can't think of the word. Oh, what's the word? Not to 
terrible when I can't think of it. Anyway, I'm just going to cut up my bacon. Um, you know when at the end of the film you think, oh yeah, I can't think of the word though. It's annoying that when that happens. Think of it in a minute. So I'm just going to add my garlic and my onions to the pot. twist yeah I was thinking oh there must be a twist at the end like where it's all gonna make sense all makes sense at the end but no it didn't it's, it's really weird oh, if anyone's ever watched that film do intrigue me let me know exactly what that film was supposed to actually be about so cutting up these now because have to like leaving stuff like this in the fridge for too long. So I've just got out a, um, a pack of um, wraps for playing Caitlin tomorrow and potentially I can make, well I bought some ham from, as, um, from Tesco's, from some reduced ham so they can have ham and cheese wraps tomorrow. And then I've got fruit, so they can have fruit as well. That's done. And then we need to add the stock. So I'm just going to boil this kettle. We need 750 millilitres of vegetable stock. That's it. Shall I do the peas as well? 150 grams green beans but I'm just gonna do um some peas seven hundred and fifty and this soup is to serve four people Sorry. I'm just gonna give this a stir manual setting and which one do we put it on reheat keep warm oh these are all new they weren't on there before because this is recently had a upload so maybe pressure cook maybe which setting fish spinach poultry vegetables express soup oh so be express cook uh i think i'm gonna put it on for about 20 minutes i think so yeah now that'll do we'll come back to that in 20 minutes and see what it looks like so i just came in here to check on winnie She's laying there with Clay. I mean, yeah, but ah, isn't that cute? She's all asleep. Oh, oh, this bloody thing keeps falling. Oh, sorry, when? <laughs> oh, I should come back to sleep. Isn't that cute, Clay? Isn't that cute? Got Clay a chocolate bar. Because he's my little helper, aren't you, Clay? Yeah. And there's Lulu. 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 Hello, Lulu. What are you doing? What are you doing, Lulu? That's it. So, I'm just making a cup of tea, guys. I'm just waiting for that soup to cook now. And I'm thinking that I might actually get away with not doing any shopping again this week. 
because I really need to use up stuff that I've already got in the cupboard and the freezer as well. So, but then that would mean that Clay and Kayla wouldn't have things like Chris and chocolate bars in your lunch boxes. Yeah, you can have some out too. So, that's what I'm thinking. Do you think that I should give it another week to run my, literally run my cupboards down? Not to nothing, but to run it down a bit more, because, yeah, I think I might need to. Because they can have things like sausages, fish fingers. There's loads of things you can have in your packed lunch. It doesn't necessarily have to be just sandwiches all the time, does it? Right. And we've got loads of fruit still, we've got loads of apples, we've got bananas, so I'm thinking maybe I don't really actually need to go and do any more. I can leave it another week. Let's have a look at this soup then. Ooh, Ooh that looks good. A bit dark in here, let me have a... So there you have it guys, minestrone, homemade minestrone soup. I have some sourdough bread from my farm shop. I'm going to try this. It's very hot. Mm. Not bad actually. Quite nice. The bacon really gives it that nice bit of added salt saltiness so you don't need to season it. That was quite pleasant actually. First time I've ever made minestrone soup. Mm, that's really nice. That's good bread. Carrot. all cooked nice and soft tastes good so that's a successful meal that I've cooked from stuff just in my cupboard so. if you like this video please give it a like and don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in tomorrow's video bye for now